Yeah, Toothless Bud. I have finally completed my epic Adventures with Dragons, a pop-up history book. Mm -hmm. What's a pop-up history book, you ask? Well, it's a book that pops open and has history in it. On the table today, it is all about how to train your dragon. Primarily featured today, Adventures with Dragons, a pop-up history book by Hiccup Horrendous Haddock III. You will not believe how crazy detailed that this pop-up book is from Inside Editions. Thank you, Inside Editions, for sending this over. I am so impressed with this top-notch pop-up book. It is an absolute must for any DreamWorks Dragons collector. Also, today we'll finally take some time to open up some of these How to Train Your Dragon The Hidden World Mini Mystery Dragons. Today and forward, The Hidden World is on Blu-ray, DVD, and digital, keeping an eye out for those exclusive Dragon Wings suited packs. Let's get right to this book, you have to see it. If you are one to judge a book by its cover, this is one to do so. We have a sturdy hardbound pop-up book, made to look somewhat homemade by Hiccup Horrendous Haddock III. Translated by Joshua Pruitt, Paper Engineering by James Diaz, Illustrations by Artful Doodlers. This is definitely one time a book review is allowed on the channel. As if you enjoy all the DreamWorks Dragon's amazing content, this pop-up history book will follow it well. That's on the back of the book. Alright, let's open this thing up. I want to say there's two kinds of pop-up books out there. There are the ultra cheap, and then there's the ultra fancy, and this falls definitely on the ultra fancy. Our first pages open up where it all began, the battle over Berk with the dragons versus the vikings. Just folds out and opens, it's so immense, it's so tall. So very impressive. Following the text throughout, we open up on Berk. There were dragons. When I was a boy, where they went, only a few of us know. Our story changed the world forever. This is one true history of dragons. Okay, bad hiccup impression right now. Not only is Burke being attacked by many a dragon right now, we also have a few other pop-up features. Flip this over, and we have a working catapult. I wasn't sure what it was at first, it took me a few minutes to figure out this opened up as well. I should have known, it is a pop-up book. We have a little rock on a cord, place onto the little paddle there, and pull this back, and we can attack the dragons flying in the air. I can't believe they included a little catapult with this set. And it actually functions really well. A couple of the other many details in here. Looks like we have a wheel to rotate. I see Toothless up there. He's hiding up in the clouds for Hiccup to try to get with that catapult. Looks like we can raise and lower this torch right here. And there quite possibly could be a few other elements I'm just not seeing. It's so detailed. Another amazing feature of this book are the maps included of Hiccup's journeys. You can pull these maps out, and as we go through the pages, we can interconnect these maps to show a giant world. Moving on to the next main event, Flying with Dragons. There's Hiccup and Toothless flying up into the clouds, and you can kind of see down below into the islands they're looking and searching around for. I'm wondering if Toothless can flap or anything. It's always amazing what they can do with paper craft these days. Doesn't look like there's much in there. I don't see any action feature on him yet. We've got other flip up pages though. Here we have Hiccup and Toothless meeting for the first time. Oh, and a giant attack by the Red Death. Or is it Green Death? Why am I forgetting? Okay, then over here we can open this up. Oh, we've got a secondary pop up and this is when all the other dragon riders are introduced to their dragons, and they're all in their main group. Kind of cool, it's like a double flip up on this page. And another map, and we've got a little bit of invention going on, how Hiccup is able to work Toothless's wings. Love the secondary features of this pop-up book. And a lot of text if you can see, there is a lot to read. Moving on. The Dragon Nest. This is just absolutely crazy. There's so much going on on this page. How is this even functioning? The paper craft is amazing. We've got the island with a Bewilder Beast, and we have another Bewilder Beast down here. Just pulling this tab, popping out of the water. 
We have Cloud Jumper and Balka up top with a bunch of dragons spinning around the island. Toothless and Hiccup are up front. And we've got another section of map to combine with. The next page, whoa, we've got a huge Bewilder Beast, the bad one, just looking at us all menacing like the Battle of the Alphas. This is pretty cool. Love how high it stands. Another map piece, more flippy books in here. We've got Hiccup uh, trying to decide whether or not he should follow the path of being a chief. And there we go, <laughs> that's really cute. We have Toothless and Cloud Jumper right there. Very cool. There's so much detail and so much text going on. This is quite a lengthy read considering it's just a pop up book. And now we're moving on into the hidden world, the final film, and we've got another map to connect. We have a giant caldera to look inside. And there it is, the hidden world. I hope I'm not going to spoil too much. I will try not to. There is the hidden world back there if you have not seen the movie yet. Pretty amazing, all the little dragons in there. You could just sit there for quite a while looking and searching for your favorite dragons. This is just a crazy look. And then the very end, I probably spoiled that. Uh, we'll keep that hidden from you. Uh, but that is one mighty flip book. This thing is really amazing. I think you can tell if you're a dragons collector, you're gonna wanna check this out. It's got just a great, around the world view of all the movies and all the fine detail. An amazing flip bug. That is the adventures with dragons. <laughs> I like how the little rock is hanging out the bottom. Definitely want to pick this up. Should be available from Amazon starting in June. I believe the back of the book is listing it right now high at $65, but typically books like this go on sale for very good deals. This pop-up book just can't be missed. All right, finally making some time for these mini mystery dragons, the Hidden World Spin Master toys. Yeah! Hiccup's very happy about it, I am too. I've been tripping over this box in my office for far too long. So curious what to see I found. On the back of these blind bag packs, there is a code, and we'll see how well I've done. Hopefully I've been able to find most of these in this collection. So let's start off with this first bag. It is bag 201-03-837 with the final two numbers, the numbers you're looking for. And what do we have? Looks like we're starting off with Toothless, a possible Hidden World Toothless. As many of the Hidden World dragons have a light up black light features, and I think I'm already seeing that on the back of his wings. You can kind of see the glowiness of the pattern. Very fun to start off with. Hey Toothless, meet Toothless. What? All right, the next bag to open up. This would be bag 838. And we have found a miniature Stormfly. Not sure if we have hidden world features on this one, but the black light does bounce off well on those scales. This would be bag 839. We have a hook fang, so we've started off well with the main cast. Nothing really going on at all with black light on this one. They've really improved the stances on some of these mini dragons, each with their own unique character. Here's 840. Of course, Meat Lug. Uh -huh. Meat Lug always looking good in mini. Bag 844. We have a cloud jumper. Good looking mini dragon like the multiple wings. 841. There they are, there's Belch and Barf. And I think I already opened this one earlier in the year at some point. Maybe with some of the other Hidden World toys. 843. Am I doing this in sequence? There we go, the Light Fury. Oh, how's Light Fury do with the black light? Glowy. And good stance by this Light Fury. All right, now we've got 842. 
A Skull Crusher. I'm going to have to go back through my past mini sets and see if these are exact matches or altogether different molds. I'm kind of thinking they're close to the same knowing Spin Master. 845. And we have found a Death Gripper. This one has to be new, talking about the new hidden world. Really scorpion, spiny, scary like. And bag 846. Wait, what is this one? Can't remember the name. Anyone want to help me out in the comments? A really nice white version though. I wonder if we have any black light features to it. No, just kind of glowy. Wow, is it one of those smaller ones? Oh, I can't think of the name. The scale might be really throwing me off with that one. And 847. We have another toothless. Are they the same? They are in different positions, so you have a good chance at picking up two toothless out there. What do we got? Eight. 54. Oh, right on. We've got a glowy blue alpha toothless. 854 on that one. This one's probably a little more rare and hard to find. Looks pretty much similar to this one here that we just opened, only in a translucent blue. 848. Going a little bit backwards on the numbers. Ooh. What is this one? Man, my dragon identification skills are way off. This is an ice one, I believe. I can't remember the name on it, but it's kind of neat. I think we saw this one before in one of the past mini sets. Black light. Going to need some help identifying some of these. I'm probably going to have to read that pop-up book cover to cover and search for these dragon names. And our final bag, 854. Do we do 854? Did I get two 854s in accident? I did, whoops. I gotta remember my numbering. There's a second transparent lucent blue toothless alpha. I think I remember that now. When I was going through the numbers at the store, that was one of the first numbers I found. Threw it in the bag. Then later when going back through the bag, forgot the number was in there and there's my story. Looks like we have a couple fun Pez dispensers to finish it off. We got Hiccup. This is poor Hiccup's severed head after he was defeated. And Toothless's severed head after he was defeated. That was a really sad alternate cut on the Hidden World that I'm really glad they didn't go with. These are always fun though. Who doesn't like Pez? I don't feel so well, Toothless. <laughs> oh, so there we go with a ton of mini dragons from the Hidden World. I'm pretty sure these are just reproductions of past minifigure series with a couple new ones in there. Painted a little bit different, but they are a lot of fun, these mini-sized figures. A little easier to collect more of these than some of the larger scale dragons. I believe it's still pretty easy to find these dragons out there. We're still in the first year of the Hidden World. So if you're looking for a special dragon in there with the numbers I shared today, I would say there's a good chance you'll find one. And finally, it's How to Train Your Dragon the Hidden World exclusive gift set this appearing this week. May 21st, 2019, I always like to pick up the exclusive packs for dragons. Sometimes there's some really fun stuff included, like dragon wings. Let's look at those really quick, see how those go. Basically, inside the box, like I thought, you're going to get your standard Blu-ray box with uh, digital content, DVD, all that important stuff. And here are the dragon wings, smashed down into a nice pack. I doubt this is sized for me, but perhaps I will be able to put this on one of my kids somehow and share that on Instagram at some point. Um, but there is your wigs. Looks like it is basically a big wedge of triangle. Think of Batman extending his wings out and pretty good detailed fabric going on there. And it looks like to attach this, oh, you'll just run your arms through this these little sleeves so your upper shoulders would wrap around there, but that's just kind of a fun extra. I think one time we got that cool basketball net hoop that's in my uh, bathroom right now out of all places. Uh, you could put soaps in there, it's very pleasant. But definitely a fun little extra add-on. I believe it costs about $5 extra for the exclusive pack on the opening week. 
So that is today's huge Dragons product content of the day. Obviously the main feature, Adventures with Dragons, a pop-up history. Keep an eye out for this pop-up book, it is definitely high interest. One of those books you can keep on a coffee table, pop open, and read some interesting dragon facts. I'm really itching to get all those maps out and place them all together and look through the giant world that Pickup and Toothless have explored. All the dragon minis go really well with this book. They're easy, small, storable dragons. You can keep the book with the dragons together somewhere, have good portable playtime, and of course the Pez dispensers will give you a snack, and the new dragons release will give you something to watch. That's what I have to say about that. The Squirrel Stampede pop-up book features squirrels that pop out and run up and around your curtains. Thanks for watching. Please, like, share, subscribe.